I don't know any toolboxes. I haven't seen any toolboxes. Fanul! Where's there a toolbox at? Near that strange spire that this key would fit perfectly in. Look at this little idiot go. Wow. Looks great. The strange spire? Is that where that guy died? The guy that got electrocuted? Excuse me. Strange spire. Oh look, this is free for some reason. Oh, that those are those are gone now. Hello, uglies. Burn it down. Burn it. A piece of junk. Oh, glue. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Strange spire. If only I knew how to get to it. Uh-huh, okay, right. Strange spire. Spire that is strange. It's this way. Right, the toolbox that I could not interact with earlier. Far, far earlier. What is this stupid thing? It's very important, Vladdy thinks. And that he man really appears to be look dead. Too good, does he? No, not at all. Rather sickly in appearance. Has he eaten anything in the past year? I don't think so. Do you think he has the mumps? Very likely. He might have something to do with all that lightning that coursed through his body. And that he was possibly told he would get godlike powers if he was connected to that machine. Quality work on that, by the way. Thank you. Ooh. I really hated that man. Oh yes, very much. Good wits. Ooh, so unfunny. Kill me. Why does Vladdy have to carry stupid bag when you take all this stupid what garbage? What sucks is that I saw WT40 like in the barn just sitting around, but it's not something you can just like take anyway. So there's that. Oh, I forget where I came from. Uh, over here. Alright, here we go. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm doing it. Yes, of course. Vladdy should drive this stupid thing. Makes most sense. Large chance for pain and suffering. Idiot. Oh my god. Oh, boy, stupid idiot. Vladdy do everything. Always Vladdy. Hey, how does Vladdy start this stupid thing? Like this? Oh, okay. Stupid thing. Shut up! You're not funny! It's not so bad. <laughs> ah, go, stupid thing, go! Ha <laughs> ha! This is good, ah! This is... Uh-oh. I cheat on your vessel off. Everything under control! <laughs> yeah, we use the Wilhelm scream. So that's what it does. Well, that didn't go well. No, not at all. Oh, when does the pain end? So much pain. When does it end? I didn't need a tractor to disassemble some fucking empty shoe boxes. These just look like oversized, uh, th those things you find in the middle of pizzas, and now I want pizza all over again. <laughs> ah, pizza. That would be great. Oh man. Yeah, let's do that later. Let's get pizza. <laughs> I 
And this one's fine. How humorous. How humorous. It is funny that one of the tables is fine. Ha 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 ha. He he he. Tattletail, that's me. Right, so what is this? Is this the end? Where's the tractor? Oh, there it is. No. No, not gonna help. I guess I have to. I guess I have to. Oh, good luck, Jokey Public. I hope your cat's okay. Oh my goodness. Thanks for your help, also. But go take care of your cat. <laughs> I so don't want to do this. Ah! my Lucy drug. Daddy thought this place had no purpose, but that was wrong. It does. It is to destroy Vladdy. Everything here was made to make Vladdy suffer, and you are worst of all. You killed my uncle. You killed my What's uncle. What's happening? Right here. Oh, that's right. We're not helping you anymore. You're mean because of the whole running a lot of us over business. You could have asked first. And nicely, jerk. There is absolutely nothing that will make us change our mind. Nothing at all. No. Nope. I don't care. Unless you played that song we really like. Oh, yes. At our favorite spot. That could work. But nothing else. Idiot plants. You go. Vladdy fix this stupid thing. You get stupid plants out of the way. I don't know who I hate more. I, I really don't know who I hate more. V Vladdy or the corn. Now this is happening. This must be the final boss. Look at all these boxes. <sighs> Yeah, I don't know why the animation is, like, decent. It's, like, wasted on this fucking horrible game. Why did I need the, the broken gear half when I... Hmm. Take a little lap around the room, see if there's anything that can be interacted with now that is a little bit new. Nope. 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 Is the corn oil still in here? Yep, good times. With that stupid puzzle. I feel bad saying the word stupid now. Like, it's it's so overused. I feel like the game's like rubbing off on me when I use a totally normal wor word that I say sometimes. Now I'm like, ew, <laughs> that word has like a very negative connotation now because that bear says it all the time. What in the fuck do they want me to do here? Want me to play music or something? I don't, I don't have anything in my current inventory that matters. Go up the thing. See, look, there's some WD-40 I could have fucking gotten earlier. Nothing, nothing. Zip. So, like, we're at the end soon, right? Like, because this is torture. Um... I ain't seen shit that's new in here. I went through the whole house. What the fuck? Two or three sections left. Ah, fuck. <laughs> fuck. Oh, I can go this way for some reason. Okay.
I don't think I was able to go here at all earlier. Nope. Ba -na 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 Huh, right? Nice to see you, Detective Pyramid. You finally made it to a void stream. Familiar gear. A small path has been opened. What the heck? I'm sorry you're coming into a, a very bad stream where I'm already <laughs> way, way fatigued from the game. <laughs> Another rock? Nope, not that rock. Sometimes I pick up rocks in this game <laughs> for absolutely no reason. Just for the heck of it. I have 51 out of 75 collectibles and they're all really fucking dumb and random. <laughs> yeah, I, I should have just did that, Gordzilla, yeah. Well, the thing is that if I if I record Silent Hill 3, I can't also stream it at the same time, unfortunately. Uh, it makes my computer explode, basically, so I can't do that. <laughs> Entertaining, for the wrong reasons. Why did that path even open up? What's the... Yikes, frame rate. How can you make a game full of corn and not realize that the frame rate is going to suffer? Oh, something go here. The boombox go here. Me not speak good no more. Can't wait to see what unfunny shit happens because of this. Okay, I might as well remind everyone again that if we, if I get nine more dollars, I will read another Ernest Klein <laughs> spoken word poem. The next one has something to do with geeks. The, the, the Geek Wants Out is the title of the next one. <laughs> this is the dead end, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, uh, there's one of those things. The things. Well, I don't go back in there. We go to the water? This is where I started out at the very beginning. Yeah, why is this mostly positive on Steam? Like, what? Huh? people's standards I don't get. Yep, here we are. Back at the beginning, but this thing's broken. Oh boy. I'm staff now, let me in. Why am I so short? <laughs> why is- why am I so short? My handle. The handle's up to my eyeball. I must be like six. Maybe I'm a child. Maybe this all takes place in a dying child's mind. What is problem? Stupid thing did job. Next time, you drive! So, what dumb thing is next? I think I used the muffin on the what? propane. That's it? All this pain and suffering for Vladdy, and you push the stupid thing into the water? Why you never say anything, idiot? You know, it's a miracle that Vladdy did this. Vladdy had no idea what he was doing. Vladdy not mechanic. Vladdy could barely reach pedals. All for what? 
We should see where that stupid floating thing end up. Probably in place with all the water, because of course it would, because everything hates Vladi! Are you done? Why? Why are we following that? What's the point of following that? There's no reason to follow that. There's no reason to do anything in this game, man. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what? Oh, we're here. Okay. <sighs> what? Move crane? Lower crane drop item? To do what? <laughs> Am I... What? Am I picking up... Am I picking up that? What? Okay, I'm gonna glue him to the console, I guess. Um... So I can use the welding torch. Welding torch that I don't know exists. <laughs> Please read some more. Please to us. read some more to us. Thank you, Mr. Foxhound. Also, I'm using WASD and it's not doing very much. Oh wait, okay, I see. It's on like a. Oh fuck. <laughs> Go do the thing. I don't know what it wants me to do. I don't. What? <laughs> Let's read more Ernest Klein. Um, <laughs> I have to mute Maze so that the teddy bear doesn't talk to me because I hate him. I hate him so much. One more Ernest Klein. For the road. So I think this is close to the, the, the road, the end, I hope. Okay, here we go. Thank you for the donation. <laughs> All right, this is a long one. This one has a lot of references in it. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. The Geek Wants Out by Ernest Klein. At first glance, I probably appear to be a somewhat ordinary, somewhat average looking fellow. Calm, harmless, at ease. But this is by design. You see, it is through decades of research and rigorous training that I have crafted this facade of normalcy. And now through intense concentration, I am able to function in a social setting. I can speak at length with educated people about pertinent matters of public importance, such as literature or the current political climate in Europe. I'm capable of conversing with you without ever revealing that just underneath the surface of this manufactured veneer, there hides an altogether different person. A monster, some might say. My alter ego. He is the opposite of the image I project. He is the antithesis of cool. Yeah, he is projecting. This guy is projecting coolness in, in social situations, a positive. The antithesis of cool. He is the last person you want to get trapped in a conversation with. He is the geek title case. The obsessive science fiction movie watching, comic book collecti collecting, Monty Python dialogue memorizing, Dungeons and Dragons playing geek that I struggle daily to keep hidden from the world. But the geek wants out. Also title case. He wants to talk to you. He wants to give you his doctoral dissertation on why The Adventures of Buckaroo Banzai Across the Eighth Dimension is the greatest fucking film of all time. 
He wants to bitch slap you because you've never seen big trouble in Little China. What? Have you been living in a fucking cave? He wants to kick your ass in Star Wars Trivial Pursuit, and he will because he is a fucking geek. He wants his toys. He wants the complete set in mint condition, still in the box. He wants every item on the planet that is even remotely related to Ultraman because Ultraman is Airwolf. He could give a squirt of piss about sports or politics or rhetoric. Such things are of no consequence to him. What matters is the release date of the next Lord of the Rings movie. You see, the geek can't wait. The geek has no patience. He wants what he wants, and he wants it, and all he wants is stupid shit. He wants his own TARDIS, he wants his own lightsaber, he wants to buy a DeLorean, and he wants to drive it at 88 miles per hour. He wants movies, he wants to see the director's cut, he wants to find the impossible to find Japanese bootleg with six minutes of never before seen footage. He wants to watch Blade Runner again. He wants to watch Brazil again. He wants to watch A Clockwork Orange again and again. But I deprive him of these things as best I can until I can no longer ignore his voice screaming in my head. I am Jekyll, which I think he spelled incorrectly. He is Hyde. I am Bruce Banner. He is the Hulk. Especially the Hulk from issues number 272 to 378. But no longer. I am putting a stop to all this nerdy shit right now. I am an adult for Christ's sake. And this body isn't big enough for the both of us. One of us has got to go and it's got to be him. I'm banishing the geek forever to the Phantom Zone. Just like in Superman 2. Because in the end, there can be only one. That was The Geek Wants Out by Ernest Klein. I don't know when that was written, but I think it was before he wrote an entire book of fucking nerd shit that totally... He went against his plan in that particular poem. Ernest Klein. Maze. It's Maze. Bloody follow. Always bloody. This is a hard day for me. I'm having a rough day. <laughs> this is a rough stream. <laughs> My stamina right now. Oh boy. <clears throat> wow. All right. What the fuck am I doing? I'm lowering the sensitivity on my mouse. Maybe the popcorn ad scares him away. Maybe that's the logic we're operating with here. Yes, that is the logic we are operating with here. I am weary. I am burnt out. I am very close to finishing Maze. That was very stupid. Hmm. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's a good thing that that... that thing I want landed right there at the end of that track. It's a real good thing. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> I have read so many Ernest Klein poems this day. I've read five Ernest Klein poems, and I think there's only one left, and it's called Dance Monkey's Dance. So if anyone wants me to read the last Ernest Klein poem, just ten more dollars will do it. <laughs> and it's called Dance Monkey's Dance. <clears throat> so I neglected to mention that, by the way, this website that I'm reading this on is Ernest Klein's actual official website. And um, it 
doesn't look hot. And it also has um, MP3s of him actually performing those those wonderful, wonderful things that you've heard me read throughout this stream. So you should check it out if you're a big Ernest Klein fan. You can hear the man himself, the man, the marvel, the legend. How to fun and where do I go for Oh another one of these cutscenes. Vladdy uh, already fixed stupid door. Vice pay on Pisnio. Stupid idiot makes Vlad do everything. Crawling through. Ah! Oh! Idiot should be crawling through stupid. Ah! Oh! Stupid virus suffering all this. Oh! Ah! Put some boy! No Daniel comment. Vesolo, you tap your loop, loop. Vladdy had enough! You stupid dumb idiot American garbage! You. Uh, of course that work! Because this is the stupidest, dumbest place there is! An idiot just stands there looking even more stupid. <sighs> now what we do, stupid? Whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. By the way, I'm continuing to uh, accidentally trick people with my Photoshop of Ready Player One, where all I did was I found a page from Ready Player One and I just deleted all the text and then I put in just Times New Roman the lyrics to the ultimate showdown of Ultimate Destiny by Neil Cesariga. Uh, and I'm accidentally hoaxing people, and it was not my intention to do so. I thought it would just be a joke, and people would go, haha, she did the thing. It is kind of like that one song. Um, but no, people are actually thinking that Ernest Klein actually wrote that. Um, and I feel bad, and I keep correcting people, and I'm just like, ah, it's a Photoshop, haha, -ha, this is not actually the thing. <laughs> Because I don't want to be a trickster. I didn't- I didn't mean to hoax people. I'm going the wrong fucking way, aren't I? Oh, I went the right way, bless. Bless. But yeah, a lot of people are continuing to be tricked by that thing that I did not mean to trick people with. We did it. Why did we do this? I don't know. Oh no, what now? I don't know why we did this. Hello. Good to see you. You did a very good job. Yes, very good. What did you do again? Press the button. Wow, we. Yes, that's very nice. We're supposed to send you a message. That's right. Yes, it's very important. What was it again? Do not free our queen. No, that doesn't sound right. Was it do free our queen? Probably. One or the other. Whatever the message was, that button pressing was very oh, impressive. Oh, oh, yes. really? <laughs> oh, well, right, we should probably go. Yes, that would make sense. Oh, I'm losing what my mind. Now? Something productive. Another nap? Yes. That's the most productive thing I can Something think of. Something productive. Maybe we'll make a bad video game. Vladdy do not know what worse. Idiot plants? The stupid, ugly idiot plant? Or you? No, Vladdy no. It is you. Zero, zero self-reflection on Vlad's part here. Uh, this is part of his uh, in-depth character, his character arc. He refuses to employ any self-reflection and realize that, indeed, he is the worst part of this game. Uh, he refuses to uh, come to this realization and admit to himself that he is the true most annoying part of this game. Um, very intriguing that uh, he refuses to... Uh, look inside himself and realize this fact. The fuck's this thing for? <laughs> Bye! For the record, if I ever laugh during this game, it's because I'm losing my mind. <laughs> It's because I'm losing my fucking mind. Oh, I just want to make sure of something. Okay, yeah, it's fine. I thought something was going weird there for a second. Some shit. It's fucking garbage. K 
can't wait to, for some notes about this. Some notes. <laughs> I guess it is taking a while for your donations to go through. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it happen yet. Uh oh. Something unfunny is about to happen. Everything in this place is so stupid. Better complain. This is the part where the where the bear complains about something and calls it stupid. I knew that bear wouldn't wouldn't be gone. Ugh, that's hideous looking. Ugh. Hmm. It's like a Roadrunner cartoon. Oops. We're all stupid. Everyone's dumb. Oh, PayPal security checks. Oh, that sucks. 